Hi, I'm Eric Schmidt from Debian Nobian Company. Today we're going to cover sex control on a GS3-2630. Today we'll only be looking at turn on, turn off times because we're on a sprayer. The first thing we need to do to look at our sex control settings is come down to our main menu which is in the bottom right. Then we're going to go to GS3 for Green Star. And then we're going to come down to our section box in the bottom. That's E. When we're on our settings tab at the top, we can make sure that we have our sex control master box checked and our box checked for our operational layer, which when we're mapping, that's our, our product one applica application layer. If we want to look at our overlap settings, here we can look at how much we want to overlap or skip for exterior boundaries. So if we have a neighbor's field and we want to make sure we don't go past that any, We'll actually probably want to put that to minimize overlap, and you can see it changes the view on this side. On interior boundaries, if we have a grass waterway, we want to make sure we don't kill any of our grass. Again, we probably want to put that minimize overlap. And then for coverage, depending on what chemical we're spraying, if we need to make sure that we get a good kill, then we would uh, we'd make sure we do minimize skip. Uh, if we want to make sure that, you know, if we have a really hot fungicide or something like that, and it's going to burn it and if we have double we might want to back that off to a minimize uh, overlap and then we can kind of do anywhere in between we can do this percent overlap so we can put any number you know zero puts you at more of that minimize overlap a hundred would be minimize skip we can do something like a fifty we can use any number zero to a hundred and it helps kind of even out what we're going to have for that coverage when we're done with that we'll hit our accept Next thing we can do is set our turn on, turn off settings. Now when we're on a sprayer, typically we're going to see that turn on time a little bit bigger than that turn off time. Reason for this is we're trying to charge up this boom in order to be able to spray. So these are look ahead times, not delay times. That's something to keep in mind. So look ahead times for when you want to turn on. So when the boom thinks it's to that area to when it actually needs to turn on, it needs to look ahead 1.5 seconds to make sure it charges up the boom so you start spraying right when you get to that over applied area. Same thing with turning off. It needs to look ahead so it has a little bit of time to stop spraying so that we don't go too far past that boundary. If you need help setting these numbers we can use the help button in the bottom and we've got six pages here to help go through for some different equipment on how we can set some of these turn on turn off times. So we have settings for planters, sprayers, and air seeders. Makes it very user friendly that way. And then we'll hit our accept done with this page you hit our accept and last thing our sex control map settings we want to make sure that on this operation one that we're looking on the foreground that rate product one that'll help with the sex control that concludes sex control setup and operation with the GS3 2630 thank you